Hello, welcome to Maximum Power. I'm Paul. Um, like I said, I tried to do um, another quick update video, uh, just what I've been up to, things like that. It's been about two weeks roughly since the last one. Um, not really had many um, pickups or anything like that. It's just a bit more of a quick update what we've got going on. A um, couple of magazine editions, but not loads this time. Been quite well behaved. Um, and no game buying either. Not even uh, cheap stuff on the Switch, which is always tempting, you know, when you look at your Switch wish list and things. And uh, yeah, I've seen quite a few um, RPGs and tactical RPGs, you know, that are quite a lot of the look of. Um, but no, basically just a quick update. Um, the last um, interview that we just did, um, that went out with um, Ashley Day about a week ago, just over. Uh, no, just under a week ago, I think it was. I think it went up last um, Saturday night, something like that, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Um, which has been, you know, great to hear a little bit of um, feedback from that. Um, Ashley obviously was a great guest. Uh, we went on for, what, three hours just over the actual recording anyway. Um, so there was absolutely loads to cover, you know, as well as a uh, time working at Game Station together. Um, yeah, the different camera angles today. So uh, just like in daughter Zoom, I had a bit of a move around um, and just sat here in a camping chair. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, so I was just trying to get used to her own room. But um, back to actual games talk. Um, so yeah, so it was obviously great to have him on and got some N64 chat to come quite soon with uh, an upcoming guest, uh, someone who was spent a lot of his time on N64 magazine. Um, so looking forward to obviously covering a bit more of that because we've only really covered that with um, Tim Weaver. I think Will Overton touched on it slightly, but I'm going back, oh God, five years ago now um, since we did the Super Play one. Um, it's a Super Play t-shirt um, that I'm always wearing. Um, so yeah, speaking of t-shirts, um, it's a bit of a cheap plug, but it's one of my latest editions, really. As a lot of you know, I do write for Amiga Addict. And obviously we started doing the Amiga Addict t-shirts. Uh, so need to, um, you know, it goes with my collection of games t-shirts. Um, but yeah, so I just was like, oh, that's actually quite cool now. Because um, I know it's obviously a magazine that I'm involved with, but I quite like... Um, you know, like, like that throwback and what you used to get in the 90s mags, you know, where it's like on the page you'd have the back issues, which we've now got like six of. And also you've got, um, you know, things like the binders and stuff like that and mugs and now T-shirts. I just think it's really cool because, you know, like back in the day, um, you used to have obviously um, meme machines, you know, I mean, jazz and that lot. Um, like modelling the T-shirts and things. You look back at it now and some of it does look quite cheesy, but you know, it's still good to see. Um, the other thing that I'm going to stick with uh, Amigo Addicts, there's only a couple of things that I just want to show off, really. Um, God, I find it easy when I'm just uh, sat on the floor. Um, this is my latest edition. Um, I'm not trying to make it sound like an advert, but I was obviously proud with um, what I've managed to um, write about with this. Uh, but also, obviously, this is issue seven. I should know that off by heart, really. Um, which is obviously the main feature, Psygnosis. So, Psygnosis were a massive part of, uh, of the Amiga. You know, so many great games, you know, so um, it's having a quick look at that. Um, I think it's like something like six pages off the top of my head. Um, it's sometimes easy just to have to have a quick look. And also um, another downloadable cover disc as well with this issue, which is quite cool to see. Um, so yeah, I look forward to obviously more things to come there. As I said, it took us a little bit longer to get this one out, but it's um, it's just like sadly one of those things, you know, with uh, real life. As said before, you know, in regards to actually recording and editing the podcast, um, sometimes the weeks just fly by. You know, it's it's what two weeks almost since the last the last videos for this. Um, a week ago since I was up in Blackpool for the day, and I just don't know where the. Uh, time has gone um yeah basically this is a cheap plug again i'm sorry but this is something that i wrote which is obviously great to see it actually in um print um don't know how many of the uh watchers or listeners uh, read eagle comic back in the day 
but Eagle had a, com uh, a comic strip called Computer Warrior. Now, this is a guy who, well, a kid who got sucked into various computer games, had to do complete challenges and things like that. So then, like, over four pages, um, it's quite a few pictures near the bottom, the different covers and stuff like that. You know, some great artwork. And uh, for that, I managed to interview a few people that uh, worked on Computer Warrior, as well as uh, the uh, Eagle uh, comic editor at the time. So it was great, you know, to actually put some of my skills and um, contacts, you know, um, to use, you know, in, in this one. So uh, in this way, I should say. So there's going to be obviously more things to come, I think, you know, um, I do want to cover some more magazines. Um, obviously, people know that I'm into them and things. Uh, so this um, the Psygnosis thing that I just mentioned about, the main feature done by uh, Ravi from uh, the Retro Hour as well. Uh, but oh, what was it? We've also got, I'm not trying to, that's what I was about for the back issues and, you know, subscribe, you know, things like that. Um, God, sorry, it really has turned into an advert. But yeah, it's, um, it's obviously just great to see um, things like oh, this as well. Uh, obviously, I'm going to show this off because this is, just shows how great the Amiga scene is at the moment. So this is Turbo Sprint. And um, we did a preview of this quite early on, but obviously it's out for release now. And interviewed um, the games maker there, Graham Cowie uh, McGeezer, aka McGeezer. Um, but it's sort of just fantastic to see how um, how lively the Amiga um, community and the scene is at the moment. I've said on there before, you know, when I was looking at uh, past Amiga magazines. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. And um, obviously, uh, the probably about a week ago now, um, Chris Wilkins Fusion uh, magazines has uh, started getting uh, Zap Amiga ready, which is going to be like a quarterly um, magazine, uh, the A5 size, you know, like his uh, always like Crash and Zap. So that's obviously something that I've uh, backed and want to check out when that comes out in a few weeks time and it uh, drops through the door, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's it's obviously a very healthy um, scene at the moment, you know. Um, and then the other thing that I just picked up today, I was in town, I went to uh, Games and More, my local game shop, and um, picked up this, it was two quid. This was the Retro Game Collection, volume one. So this is, uh, it's, it's quite funny though, isn't it? The Collector's Guide to Video Gaming, 1979 to 2000. Because now when you see um, retro gaming, you're covering games from, what, uh, up to about 2006, 2007 now. You know, so there's a, a lot to cover. And like I say, it's a bit, well, not knackered, but you know, it's it's been well read, we'll say, definitely. You know, it's like, again, tons of different games here. I mean, just to try and read a couple. Uh, Perfect 10 list for Specky. Mega Drive, C64, SNES, uh, Definitive, uh, Gradius, or Gradius, I would say Gradius, um, Bubble Bobble and Outrun, uh, Classic Games and Silent Hill, Pilot Wings, uh, Features on Saber Wolf, R Type, uh, Makings of Earthworm Jim, International Credit Plus, Whizball. I mean, this, this is good to see, really, because it's the early days of Retro Gamer. And you think now Retro Gamer is slowly approaching. Um, 20 years old you know it's uh, just a couple of years off really so it's good to look back now you know um, and, and just see obviously what's covered because I, again I used to buy um, Retro Gamer every month uh, for a good few years and then stopped but obviously now I subscribe again but you know you just got like seeing these older features there perfect 10 games for um, Spectrum um, I'm just going to go to the C64 one, just whisk forward a little bit, if I can. Um, these do come, you know, in handy as well, because it's uh, looking back at having um, Ashley Day on. He writes occasionally for Retro Gamer, you know, it's Team 17. So when I had him on, he was an, just saying, like, what a massive fan he is of, um, of what's called... Um, uh, God Team 17 because obviously 
it, and the Amiga because Team 17 have obviously been a massive supporter of Amiga we've got some of the Amiga so some of their games on the Amiga Mini and then he mentioned this um, oh, let's just quickly show you there some uh, picture of Simon Butler there on a Spectrum Legends um, feature so yeah so looking back at this it's um, a couple of pages at Team 17 here so this is done by Ashley Day, and he interviewed, um, oh God, who was it, Marcus Dyson and Martin Brown, Martin Brown, founder of Team 17, and also um, Marcus Dyson, who we've had on the show um, before. So it just shows that what a small world it is, really. And you've got the timeline there of um, uh, Team 17, and you've also got, again, a few pictures of Marcus as well, including the uh, alien breed one that you can see just there, so Z Classic, what was it, Wakefield, Emmerdale, something like that, um, in the uh, podcast that we did. But yeah, it's uh, it's good to see this, you know, and, and see those sort of like looks, because like I say, that's what, about 15 years ago since he did that interview, and obviously now we've had him on the show, we've had uh, Marcus on the show as well, so yeah, it's uh, great to see. Like I say, it's only a very quick look at that, I might get a couple more of those again, because I do think they are good um, reference uh, material special those early issues there but yeah um that's all at the moment um just this week just working on magazine stuff next week back to podcasts because i've got a couple of um interviews lined up as mentioned so it's going to be a busy september um as we obviously close up august and things just start to get a bit easy once some holidays are over you know and things like that and uh yeah Thank you anyway for dropping in and watching. Um, slightly shorter one today. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Look after yourselves and uh, keep listening to the show. And uh, if you do, thank you. And thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye.